Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a visual idiom. The very first thing that you want to do is you want to pick an idiom that you would like to use for this project. Now I have a list of some popular idioms right here, but you can also use an idiom that is not on this list. Once you know what idiom you want to use, you want to find images that you think you might need to create that visual idiom. So I picked an arm and a leg, or it costs an arm and a leg. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to need probably a cashier, right? Someone selling something. And I'm also going to need someone buying something. And uh, so that might be a man or a woman. So let's say I just start off by looking for cashier. And I'm going to get images like this. And I might decide some of these work for me, and I might decide they won't. Usually you want something with a neutral background because you're probably going to edit that background away. Although this is a pretty good image right here. So let's say I want to use this image. I would click on it. It's very tempting for people to right click and save here, but this isn't the biggest version of the image. You want to click right here, or excuse me, right here where it says view image. Click there. Wait. There's the nice big version of it. You're going to right click, save image as and find a place on your computer where you would like to save it and give it a name that you might remember. And then click Save. Now, there's another place that you can find images that I also recommend, other than Google Images, and that's called openclipart.org. So these are all clip arts that other people have submitted, and so you can search for something here. So let's say that I want to look for a woman because she is going to be purchasing something from my cashier to help me make the visual idiom, it costs an arm and a leg. So I type in woman and I would click search. And there's all sorts of women here. There might be one that I like and there might be one that I don't like. Let's say I like this one. I would click. And you can right click and save right here. You can also download these ones right here, whatever your choice is. So I'm going to right click save image as, and then I'm going to find a place I want it to save, it's right there, and click save. And so now I have the images that I think I'm going to need to create my visual idiom. Now I'm ready to create my visual idiom. So what I would do now is I'm going to go to a website called pixlr.com backslash editor. Once I'm there, I'm going to click right here where it says create a new image. I'm going to keep the presets that are already there and I'm going to click OK. Once I do that, I have a white file, and this is where I'm going to be creating my visual idiom. Now, I'm going to need the very first image for my visual idiom. So it's very tempting to people to go file open, but we're not opening up a new file. We want to keep creating on the file we have open. And the way we do that is we go to Layer, and we choose Open Image as Layer, and then you have to go find where you have saved. Your images. So remember this guy we just had? I'm going to click and I'm going to open him. You can see I found some other images too. Another trick is if you're right here and everything looks like this and you can't see it, right? You may not remember which one you want. If you click on this triangle and you choose extra large icons, you could pick. Now, I like all of these, but I've actually changed my mind, and I think I'm going to use this one instead. So I just click, and I click Open, and there it is. Now, this is too big for my picture. There's a very simple way to resize that. All I do is go to Edit, and then I click Free Transform, and then I can use these little toggles, which you should be familiar with, to resize my image. And if your image is more square, like mine is, don't worry about that. We can fix that part later. Once it's the way you like it, and that's important, you click, and it's going to ask you a question. And you're going to say, well, yes, I would like to apply these changes. Pixlr can crash, so it's really important to save often. So I'm going to go to File, Save. Might take a second. And I'm going to give this a title. And under format, because I'm still working on this, I'm going to choose PXD. 
and then I'm going to click OK. You want to make sure it's in the file you want it to be. There it is, and I'm going to click Save. Now I've saved. Now I'm ready to add my next image that I might want. I want you to notice though, do you see that I have layers here? This is my background layer, and this is my first layer. I'm going to remove that padlock, that's just because that's how I like to do things. If it bothers you that you need more of the blue here, all you have to do is get your eyedropper tool, you click, watch what happens to my color, I've now selected that color, I'm going to draw a box, there's my box, that's my square marquee tool, click on my paintbrush, and I can change the size of my paintbrush to be quite big, and look, it'll only paint inside the box I've made. Pretty cool, right? And then I'm going to go to Edit, Deselect All to get rid of the marking ants. Now I might be ready to add a new image. So I'm going to go to Layer, Open Images Layer, and I'm going to find my next image. I decided to be kind of funny and find a zombie. So here's my zombie, and I'm going to click Open. And again, he's too big, so I go to Edit, Free Transform. And you're going to have to decide what you think is the best size. Hmm. I think that's probably a pretty good size. And I'm going to click and say, do I want to play the changes? Yes. And then I'm going to save. After I do any kind of major step, I'm still working on it, so it's a PXD, I like to save. Okay. Now, this kind of dark blue color is bothering me, and I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to click on my magic wand tool and I'm going to click on what I want to get rid of. Do you see how it only highlighted that color? How cool is that? And then I go Edit, Cut, and it's gone. If I want to move my zombie around, I can move him around just like this. Now, I want to create some space right here to put an arm and a leg, right? Because that's what I'm paying with. So I want to get rid of this. So I need to make sure I'm on the layer with my cashier. And the way I can do that is, oh, that's the layer with my zombie. This is the layer with my cashier. So there I am on it. I'm going to get my square marquee tool, and I'm going to draw a square around what I don't want. And I can even go over on my zombie. This is pretty cool. Watch this. And then I'm going to go to Edit, Cut, and it's gone, right? But I can see, and I, I don't want that either. Edit, Cut. And so let's say maybe, hmm, I might want this to be that blue color. So I just select my blue color again. I can get my paint, bus, paint bucket, and it fills it in for me. There it is, blue. Now I might not like that this little piece is there. So if I don't like that, I just go and draw the back. And then I'm going to get my eyedropper tool, select, and I can change the color right back. And I've actually edited that image to look the way I want it to look. So I'm going to keep playing with it and take off the zombie legs and put them up here and do some more cool tips and tricks that I can help you with in person or your teacher can help you with in person. And then I'm going to show you my finished product.